So today I want to go over the belt system in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, primarily because a subscriber reached out and she asked, how long does it take to become a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu? So let's talk about that today. Now, when we talk about belts in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, we're talking about five primary colors, and that's white, blue, purple, brown, and black. Now, there are two other colors, but we don't call those the primary colors because most of us aren't gonna see these, and that's coral and red. For the purposes of this video, we're just gonna focus on the five primary colors. And I also wanna preface all of this by saying there are a lot of variables that go into getting promoted in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Well, with the exception of the white belt. Pretty much, you just have to show up, sign up, and you're a white belt. Things like your age when you started Jiu-Jitsu, how many hours can you spend on the mat in Jiu-Jitsu per week? What's your athleticism? Are you naturally an athletic person? all these things are going to impact your ability to get promoted in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. So that's why it's so difficult to simplify down belts in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu to one specific thing. However, for the purposes of this video, and it's a good unit of measure, uh, we'll talk about time on the mats. Because most folks you'll talk to, um, despite all the variables, they'll say that time on the mat is the one common denominator that we can all agree on. So for the purposes of this video, we'll talk about the amount of time on the mat and how that correlates to getting promoted in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Now I also want to say that I am not a black belt in jiu-jitsu. I'm only a blue belt. And so I don't have the experience of going from to a purple, or brown, or black, or anything like that. So I had to go out and do a lot of research, look up hours on the mats, look, look up people who have gotten their black belt the fastest, the slowest, how much time in between, and all of that. Correlate that to what my experience is already with white and blue, and processing through blue, and, and then sort of put together these timelines for you. So it's not all just me just giving you my opinion. It's also me doing some research and then pulling that research together to offer to you in this video. So the way I calculated how long it would take to go from one belt to the next was pretty simple. I just took how many hours you would need to progress from one belt to the next based off my research. And then I took that, divided it by how many hours you could put in on the mats per week. And I used three as an arbitrary number. It doesn't really matter if you advance that or you want to advance faster, you could put four in this formula. But I used three because most people can put in about three days a week or three hours a week. And then I also also divided all of that by 52 weeks in a year to give me how many weeks it would take to go from one belt level to the next belt level. Now we all start out at white belt and while I do recognize that there are certain stripes and things that you get between each belt level for some schools, not all schools recognize stripes, so I didn't include that in this calculation. Now I do have my notes down here so if you see me glance away every now and again, I'm just looking at the notes because I don't want to miss anything in this video. I realize that some people get promoted faster and some people get promoted slower and there's no way to peg it down to a time. I also realized that, that you know, belts aren't necessarily important. As a, as a form of recognition, yes, it's probably important, but I'm just trying to put this together to give folks that are brand new to Brazilian Jiu Jitsu uh, a timeline on what they can expect or, or just some fundamental way that they can, you know, have an idea of what they need to do to be successful in Jiu Jitsu. And I don't want to peg success down to a belt color, but success is pegged down to time on the mats. And that's why I reduced this down to time on the mats in relation to that next belt level. Anyway, I hope that makes sense. So don't destroy me in the comment section, and I know some of you will. All right, so let's get started. To go from white belt to blue belt, it's gonna take you about 300 hours. Now, if you take 300 hours, it's gonna take you overall and divide that by three hours per week, that arbitrary number we use, three hours per week or three visits per week to the academy or school, you put three hours on the week per, or three hours on the mat per week, it's gonna take you about 1.9 years to go from white belt to blue belt. Now, to go from blue to purple, it's gonna take you about 360 hours, again, at three hours per week. If you're able to do that, it's gonna take you about 2.3 years to go from blue to purple, not from purple to brown. If you are gonna go from purple to brown, it's gonna take you about 380 hours, or again, three hours per week, it's gonna take you about 2.4 years to go from purple to brown. And then to go from brown to black, um, it's gonna take you about 380 hours to 400 hours roughly, which equates to about 2.4 to 2.5 years. So from brown to black, 2.4 to 2.5 years if you're putting three hours a week on the mats. Now, if we add all of these up, we're looking at about nine to 10 years to go from white belt all the way to black belt. Now, here's where it gets really interesting and where a lot of folks sort of shy away from Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. If your reward is a belt, you can get jaded really quickly. 
If your reward is what you're learning on the mat, like the technique and, and, and the chess aspect of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, you'll be fine, right? Because it's just incredible. You learn every day. You actually get excited about a technique that you get tapped out on because you didn't understand it and you want to learn that. So if you get thrilled by those types of things, you'll be fine. If you are very focused on rewards or getting belts and trophies and things like that to have justification for what you're doing, then you're probably not going to be satisfied with Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Now, there are some folks who might be considered phenoms who have gotten their black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu in three years. Three years is rather fast and don't plan on that. I also want to say that even though I mentioned I used three hours for this equation that we went over in this video, you know, three hours per week sounds pretty easy, right? I can do three hours on the mats a week. And that'd be a fair assessment, actually, that you could do three hours a week. Here's where it gets a bit complicated, especially for, um, you know, older gentlemen or ladies that are practicing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. You know, you tend to have other things that get in the way. So some weeks you might put in five hours, six hours a week, and some hours, and some weeks you might not put in any hours. There's also injuries. These things happen in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, usually because I'm doing something stupid, like I'm, you know, I perform a technique wrong or I don't tap early enough. It's not usually caused by my opponent. But the point is, is that oftentimes we don't get to put those three hours a week in. And I say all of this to say that the spectrum is wide. People that get their belt in three years, not normal. Likewise, like Joe Rogan, for example. I use Joe Rogan because a lot of folks know Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan was a brown belt for eight years. A brown belt. Took him 16 years, I believe, overall to get his black belt. And mainly because he stayed a brown belt for eight years because he had travel, right? He did comedy shows and things like that. He was on the road. These things happen. That's why it's so difficult to peg a universal timeline down for Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu because it's each person's own journey. And you're gonna hear that a lot if you decide to do Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. So it doesn't really matter how long it takes you to get your belt. I mean, I mean, it's your journey and you don't want to focus on belts and I know that sounds cliche not to focus on belts it's about the journey it's not about the belts but it is completely true so I have to say it I think the longer you stay in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu the more you grasp that fact you'll find that you just want to simply learn you want to learn the next technique you want to learn Jiu-Jitsu you want to start chaining techniques together you'll find that chasing that belt or that belt goal will soon fade away and be replaced with the desire just to get better to share to grow to learn at least that's what's happened for me but I think that happens to most people as they progress through their Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu journey my advice to you is to give it a try there's a lot of trial memberships so you can take advantage of see if you like it guys that's it for this video thanks for watching if you like this video make sure you click that subscribe button below share this video if you uh, think other people will get value from it subscribe to my channel i'll see you in the next one